to Taipei. Just going for a little cheeky jog. Okay, so on today's thoughts on the run, I thought I would talk about living as a runner here in, in Taipei, like with like the pedestrian. I'm talking about like the pedestrian laws and the customs and stuff here. Something that as a foreigner, it's actually super hard to get used to. So I think this might be two parts because I was doing a bunch of research. I found some really cool studies just on how different cultures in different countries have different societal norms for pedestrians, which is fascinating. So I think I'm gonna do a bit on it this weekend. For now, I'm just gonna go for my jog. And I'm actually escaping to the side of the river. So, obviously those are scooters. So here in Taiwan, um, it's one of the primary modes of transportation, especially in the city, which is cool because they're, they're small and you can get around and in a high population dense area like Taipei, it's a great way to travel. But as a pedestrian, as a runner, can be problematic so notice they are they're pretty much all over the place and a lot of times it becomes a game of like scooter dodgeball man they're everywhere like they park on the sidewalk they turn into traffic like this because the pedestrians like that they roll onto the sidewalks like this which is cool and fine but you know when it happens like 85 times within a 20 minute period and you almost get sideswiped it's kind of like it gets to you sometimes. So I'm on my way to the river right now. Man, like when I go running now, like I have to be in a place where I just, I'm not surrounded by cars and scooters and potential ways to get hit. I'm curious what you guys have to deal with. Does anyone here live in like a big city like this? Maybe not specifically in Southeast Asia, but like a city where it's very dense and you have to worry about being in danger when you're even on a sidewalk. It can make jogging a little stressful to be totally honest. She just kind of like rolls right on there. And that's like, that's totally fine. I probably almost get hit at least two or three times a day. And I'll talk about this in the video this weekend, but it has to do with like a societal thing about, I don't know, like the use of the streets. It's super interesting. I was looking at the study and it was like talking about how in the West we, we build the cities to kind of be, have a central location and then build outwards. And the cities and the streets are built for like, like a transportation avenue where here on the streets, here the streets are also for like a, it's like a cultural mixing place. Like you're gonna have food on the streets, you're gonna have shops in the streets. Like the streets and the sidewalks are more than just transportation mechanisms. They're their social, societal kind of mixing pots. So I'll talk about that this weekend, but that's a, a big reason why there's, I don't know, I think there's kind of this kind of pedestrian traffic issue. So like, she had a green arrow and she was walking across and these cars are just like jumping around her. It's stuff like that that makes running here like super challenging because even though there's a green area even though there's a person there like you do not have the right of way there's a really funny joke for expats it's like you know you've been in taiwan for too long when you look both ways on a green walking person like you look both ways before you're legally allowed to cross red cars always it's a one-way street I'm just gonna let the camera roll and see if it picks up anything illegal in the next eight seconds before I get across the street. Okay, safe. Green light. That's nice, that's safe. Yellow light. Oh, red light. Oh, I'm turning. Oh, I don't care. Oh, I don't care. Look, that's fine. I'm just ran over my foot. You see what I'm talking about? Totally unscripted, man. That cab driver was like two feet from my foot, <laughs> trying to make the red light. <laughs> ah! I am almost to the safety of the riverside where there's no cars or scooters, unless there's an illegal car or a scooter, but usually there's not. I'm almost there, I'm almost there. Oh my God, there's a car. Wow, I did not expect a giant truck on this pedestrian path, but yet here we are. See what I mean, man? No place is safe. This is a park. Human, this is a, human flesh tissue walking area. Man, sometimes I get so upset. But honestly though, man, I've been, I mean, I've been here for two and a half years. I'm pretty much as used to it as you can get. It, I mean, of course it makes me upset and it freaks me out and very dangerous, but it's one of the things about living in Southeast Asia, I think. Good news, 
you guys. I made it. And I haven't died yet, which is good. So I could go running down there. There's not supposed to be any cars or motorcycles. I could go on the path there or there. Hmm, maybe I'll go. Ta da! Look, there's just all this grass. Look how safe it is. There's even some, some chillins planted. This is probably the safest and softest place to run in Taipei. Ha ha ha. Well, yeah, I just thought I would share a little running journey with you guys for you, for you city dwellers. So I usually run about two miles to get out here to the river. Then it's more or less, it's, yeah, it's pretty safe. I never had any crazy accidents or anything like that. But I'm curious what you guys have to deal with. If you guys live in cities, or maybe if you live on the countryside, if there's like, like bears or something. I don't know, I'm very curious. I remember when I was in Thailand, when I was in like the southern part of Thailand, there were like wild dogs I had to worry about. Um, so my fellow runners, please comment below. Tell me what kind of uh, crazy things you have to worry about on your on your daily runs. All right, so I'm doing a workout today. I'm actually gonna film this workout. I'm gonna post it in a few days. I'm doing a fart like diagonals workouts. All right, so stay tuned. And then the other one, the research one about like Asian population, like pedestrian culture, societal, economic, blah, blah, blah. It's, I'm gonna post it this weekend. So I think it's, it's actually pretty interesting, all the, all the studies I found. Okay, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.